Is it on? Is it on? Surprise around the corner. Surprise around the corner. Woo! You might get this. You might get that. You might get hit with a baseball bat. Surprise around the corner. What up, everybody, and welcome to Surprise Around the Corner. What up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Surprise Around the Corner. I've been going, but I'm back again. How are my corner boys doing? My corner girls doing? How are my surprise army doing? And speaking of surprise army... Hmm, my lips is chap. I need some chap say. Speaking of surprise army, we got a new addition to the surprise army. Say hello to Jordan Blue. I don't know if you can see them, but well, he's right here. Oh, now you want to be shy. There you go. Say hello, everybody, to Jordan Blue. Oh, see, now you're a YouTube star. Jordan Blue is from Brooklyn. Yep, that's my new pet. <clears throat> that's my new pet, Jordan Blue. Jordan Blue is from Brooklyn. And speaking of Brooklyn, shout out to my co-worker, my Ace Boom crew at work. Shout out to April from Coney Island. What up, April? Ah, I just love you, homegirl. All right, everybody. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your mother about me. Tell your cousin about me. Tell your coworker about me. Tell everybody about me. All right, there's so much going on, but first, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when I got a new video up. And um, let's get to it. Okay, R. Kelly. I know, I know. Always again and again and again. R. Kelly, you're in jail for a reason. For touching little girls, okay? So now you got the nerve to put demand saying that she want both of your girlfriends to come in at the same time so you can have a visit? You're in jail for a reason. Who makes demands when they're in jail? You're there for a reason. Let me get my chapstick. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're there for a reason. Because you've been touching people. And now you got the audacity to want both of your girlfriends. Not only, that says something about you right there. They're really going to keep your ass in there. The fact that you got two girlfriends... And then you're making demands like, oh, yeah, I'm the man. Just send Shakita and Bonita in here. It's going to be all right. Like, who the hell you think you are? So, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. The fact that you are demanding to have two girls come in at the same time, that right there alone is telling your mentality of where your mind is at. So, yeah, you did it with them little girls. Yeah, you knew what you did. And the fact that you're giving demands that you want both of your girlfriends to come in at the same time... Your ass gonna be like that for a long time, brother. That's all I gotta say. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're gonna be an asshole eating meat patties with beans, and you're gonna be walking around with them orange suits with dirty feet and flip flops. That's what you get. That's what you get. On to the next. Um, and other news. Beyonce's father, Paul Matthew knows. He's the second man that I know that's a public figure. That said they were diagnosed with breast cancer. Number one was Richard Roundtree. Richard Roundtree. Damn, my let's look chat. Hmm. Whoa. The hell? That shit like I got white lipstick. <laughs> but um, Richard Roundtree, the original chef, he was the first male that I know that's been diagnosed with breast cancer. You always hear about the slight chance that men can get breast cancer, but you never hear about it. You always hear about the women. And so Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, has been diagnosed with breast cancer. They caught it at an early stage. And, um, yeah, that's kind of, mm, you know, something to think about. Hold on, my battery's about to, hold on, God. Yeah, so, um, 
Is it still running? Oh, yeah, okay. So, hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, that's something to think about as a male. It's like, you know, he kept on saying he was laying down and was seeing spots of blood on his bed. And then he noticed he seen it in his shirt. So, he went and got tested. And, you know, he has breast cancer. So, be aware. Be cautious. You know, just because a male, you're a male doesn't think like you, it can't happen to you. So, you know. It might be a small percentage of men that get it, but it can happen. That's showing you right there. Public figures, Beyonce's dad got this, so if he got it, anybody can get it. So be on the lookout for that. And you know, another thing, speaking about males, I don't really like to get political, anything like that. I like to be, you know, I like to laugh, I like to talk, I like blah, 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 all that. But, um, okay, I know we're trying to get Trump out and everything, and, um, but... You know, I knew Bernie Sanders was a little older, but um, he just had something done to his heart or something. I don't know. But then when they said his age, I said, 82? You 82 years old and you running for president? You're smart. You got a good thing going, but you, you still in your right mind and everything. But you're 82 years old. You need to sit your ass down. I think it's over. Me, personally, I don't know. I like where you're coming from, Bernie, and everything. You got some good things that you want to do for America and everything. But you're 82 years old. I mean, God damn. When are you going to give it up? I know. It's like, it might be a, 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 a bucket list thing you want to do. But, shit. 82? I think it's an 82, 84. I think 82. Or 84. 82. Give it up. Okay? Like, damn. What else we need to talk about? Um, M. Bernadette. All right. As I said, like, I'm a baby YouTuber, so I show love where people show love to me. And there is an awesome YouTuber named M. Bernadette Vlogs. Please go to subscribe to her channel. She's all about club love, light. She's very, you, you know, her topics about world, the world and life is so cool. She brings people together. She has cool topics, inspirational, very cool. Her name is M. Bernadette Vlogs. V B, what was it? V L O G S. M. Bernadette Vlogs. V O V L O G S. M. Bernadette Vlogs. Please go to her channel. And another person that showed me love to, she always makes me laugh. I always call Auntie View. Her name is, her channel is called A View is a View. A viewers of you, please subscribe to her channel. Go over there. Tell her Surprise Around the Corner sent you there. Tell her. So, Surprise Army, please go to those two YouTubers. Show some love. Drop a comment to them. Tell them that I bought them over there. Please subscribe to their channel. They're very good people. They'll make you laugh. They'll make you think. Please. M. Bernadette Vlogs and a view is a view. Please say the Surprise Army is coming over from Surprise Around the Corner. I brought them to their channel. Please show some love to those subscribers. I mean, those YouTubers. And um, what else? Little Kim. Little Kim last night. Last night was the BT Hip Hop Awards. Yeah, it was the Hip Hop Awards. Um, I didn't get to see all of it, but what I got to see was Little Kim when she performed. Whoa. I always represent Little Kim. That's, that's the one for me. You know, she's... All hell the queen, but you know, even though she looked like a thundercat, that's still my girl. I don't care. I'm always gonna represent Kim. She looked good. She performed all her hits, you know, Little C's and you know, Junior Mafia was out there. They was representing Biggie. Little Kim performed her ass off. She gave you a show. She did everything. You want to roll with the bees? She crushed on you. All of that with her little glitter suit and little hoodie. She killed it. She killed it. She killed it. Even though I still say it, I'll keep on saying it. Why she did this surgery on her face? She's like a thundercat. She's like lying over her sister. I don't know. Sorry. I'm I'm still rolling with Kim, so, you know. Um. Oh, another thing. Check what I... Okay. Remember the video I told you I went to lunch with my friend? I couldn't help it. This thing has been on my mind. The store is a very good store. It's called Lush. Everything is homemade, all natural ingredients and everything. When I smelt this scent, with me, when it comes to cologne, I like to smell good, light, airy, you know, not so much fruity, but like airy, you know, like, 
Ooh, I don't like the smell like hard musk, you know, woods. I don't really smell like no damn tree. <clears throat> I like the smell good. So, I went back to Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. Look them up online. Tell them surprise around the corner. A YouTuber sent you there. This stuff is good. Their scent is good. But I had to go back. This is my last time going there. I'm not going back there no more. But I had to go get this. This is a men's body spray. But this just isn't no ordinary body spray. This is all handmade. All fresh ingredients. All natural ingredients. This is called... What was it again? Dad's Garden Lemon Tree. It's a body spray for men. When I say this shit smells amazing. It's dope. It's dope. It's been on my mind. I said, let me get it before it runs out. I don't know if it was limited edition. But this right here, man, if you want to smell good for the ladies or the men or whoever or wherever you go, get this. This is a good gift. Tell them, surprise around the corner. Oh, you want to uh, you want a sponsor, brother? Let me know. But this stuff right here, woo, smells real good. And another thing I went to, I went to a health food, food, a health food store. And the thing is with me, I feel that you need to cleanse your body out at least twice a year, once in the winter, once before the summer and the spring. And you got to clean all them toxins out, all that processed food. I don't know why I'm trying to be so healthy. And look at Jordan Blue. Look at Jordan Blue, the little motherfucker. All right, turn over. He was turning over. Okay. But anyway, I feel like you need to clean your system out. Get all that gook out. You know, if you're a smoker, you're a heavy eater, you eat a lot of meats. You don't like to eat a lot of vegetables, or if you do, I just feel like you need to clean your insides out once a year. Your body would smell. All that waste would be in your body. So with me, I don't believe I'm trying to feel like I'm a health guru or nothing like that, but it just feel like... The more older you get, the more you have to take care of your body. So, like, with me, I'm feeling kind of heavy, kind of... Yeah, I'm feeling kind of heavy, but I got a fucking roast in the oven upstairs. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like you feel kind of heavy or you feel like you got a lot of waste on you and everything. So, I went to All Natural Health Food Store and I got this. This is an internal scrub for your body. You take two spoons of this. I don't know how many times a day I got to read it. But, uh, okay, every morning pour 8 ounces in juice, nut, milk, water, into a glass, 1 tablespoon of powder. Take, tw okay. Alright, it's good, but this is something like, you know how you exfoliate your face? This way you exfoliate all your insides and it's like, <laughs> scrub all that stuff out of you with these little greens. A dietary, a dietary fiber soothing with soothing herbs. So by the vibe. You can get it from Herbal Tea House online if you want. Herbal Tea House. I paid $35 for it. Place here in Harlem. But um, we got a all natural, all good stuff into it. But um, yeah, it scrapes all, the, eliminate the toxins from your body. High in fiber will help diet that. Eliminates toxins from your body. So I'm going to start this. I don't know when, but I'm going to start doing this. And, um, what else we want to talk about? Oh, we want to talk about the Amber Geiger situation. The lady that shot the guy that was in his house, the cop. The female cop in Texas that shot the guy that was sitting in his apartment eating ice cream. And she was so drunk and she came to the apartment and thought it was her apartment and shot and killed the guy. Now, the guy that testified against her, which was the next door neighbor named Joshua Brown. You know, after the verdict, a couple of days after, now they find him dead. Everyone said, oh, it was the cops. It's too coincidental and everything. It is very coincidental. And you would think it was a setup. You would think it was the cops. I laid back for a minute to see what was going on and everything. First of all, they said he was an entrepreneur. He moved away. He went to California. They subpoenaed him to come back to testify. He testified. And now he's dead. You know, but... In actuality, they found three guys that came in from Louisiana. They drove from Louisiana, and they were talking to him, and one of them set him up, and next thing you know, bam, bam, they shot him. Little do you know, they said they went into Joshua's Brown house, and they found not a little bit of weed, 12 pounds, 
12 pounds. Now, look, I can't, I don't know if a person can or could not have 12 pounds of marijuana in your house. Some people are speculating that the cops put the 12 pounds in there so it can look like a setup. And I was like, if that was the case, where would they get these three guys to say that they, you know what I'm saying, killed them? So I think it was coincidental that this happened, being so close to, you know, the court verdict date and everything. But um, to me, it looks like it's true. They found all this in the house and these guys... You know, they found the gun on the guys and everything. To me, is this a setup? Is this a coincidental occasion? But a lot of people are mad about the fact that the judge, after the verdict, the judge hugged Amber. And the thing is, it's like, this lady took somebody's life that was minding their own business. This man was in his own apartment eating ice cream. And the fact that you go over to hug someone... That just killed a man. I mean, I know you felt bad, but I've never seen a judge hug a killer. No matter how bad they feel about the situation, because you're supposed to be stern with the verdict. And the thing is, you're like, I know you might feel remorse, but to show remorse to a killer in our eyes doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing is like, the brother alone, I don't want you to go to jail. I care for you. I want the best for you. It's like, you just killed my brother. I know forgiveness, but this is like certain things. It's like, it just doesn't. I, I know they say to forgive, but God damn, I don't know. I couldn't. I don't know. I couldn't get down like that. So, I mean, someone should get a blue pick award, but I won't throw a blue pick award because this is about someone's life. So. To me, I just, this, this case is really not a good thing for America right now. But it is what it is. So everybody, keep their eyes open. Be safe out there in them streets. I got to go right now because I got something cooking in the oven. Um, Next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do this fucking blue. This little turtle is so active. Let me let y'all see him. Let me see if you can see him going all over the place. Look, 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 look. Oh, now you don't want to move? God, now you don't want to move. He was climbing all over the place, but now you don't want to move. Y'all see him, right? Or her, her, or her. But there you go, there you go. Hey, now move. He's saying hi, everybody. Say hi. He's saying hi. I might take him up the walk. I don't know. That's Jordan Blue. But everybody, I'm about to go eat. My next video, my next video will be, I just seen the Joker, and that's going to be my next video, and I'm going to do a review about the, this is going to be my first movie review that I do on the Joker. It's going to be spoiler alert, so if you didn't see the movie, I suggest you don't watch it, but we're going to talk about it, and how you felt about it, how I felt about it, and um, yeah. So please, that's been another Surprise Around the Corner edition. Thank you, Surprise Army. Please, go subscribe to our viewers of you and Bernadette Vlogs. And everybody, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your moms about me. And all that, and all that, and all that. And um, yeah, until then, be safe. And keep on watching Surprise Around the Corner. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.